hi hello salam welcome back to another video this is going to be a quick video on an accessory that i bought and that is the apple magic keypad keyboard for the ipad pro that i recently purchased if you haven't seen that video then make sure you click on the icloud which is going to be above here somewhere and uh, go and check that video out and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the like button comment below and share it with your friends and family so hopefully someone will benefit from the video so i have been using their new m1 12.9 inch ipad pro for the last couple of weeks now i have been very impressed with it the display itself is just so amazing when i'm editing on luma fusion it has been lightning fast my editing gets done quicker the processing time is shorter and uploading time is much smoother so i am really happy that i made this upgrade now if you want to see a full review on the actual ipad itself make sure you comment below but today is about the accessory and that is the magic keyboard here itself now this isn't a review on the magic keyboard however if you would like me to review it and let you know what i think of it then make sure you comment below and let me know but the purpose of today's video is to tell you something where you can save money so this keyboard came out last year in 2020 however the m1 chip ipad which i've got here right now came out this year then apple turned around and said that the previous generation which is the fourth generation keyboard will not fit on the new ipad 12.9 inch because it has a liquid display and that makes it slightly bigger so when i was looking at purchasing the accessory because i do need a keyboard when i'm on the ipad when i'm doing editing the keyboard does really help they cost around 350 pounds and there is no way i am spending that much money to buy a keyboard so the best place i thought i could look at is obviously ebay so when i was searching on ebay for the keyboard i actually found this keyboard for under 100 pound and i was thinking to myself oh what a deal i smashed it so i made the purchase i've saved over 250 pounds here as soon as i placed the order and as soon as the money went out i realized one thing that this keyboard was fourth generation which means this keyboard was for the ipad 4.9 inch that came out in 2020. I thought to myself, oh my God, what have I done? Am I in for a lot of trouble? It arrived in a few days. The best thing I can do is test it out. And if it works, perfect. If it doesn't, then I'll just sell it back on eBay. So this is a quick test to let you know if you should buy the fifth generation keyboard for your 12.9 inch new iPad, or if you've got a fourth generation already, can you use that? And I'm gonna keep it sweet and simple. Answer is yes. There is nothing wrong with the previous generation keyboard. As you can see, all the magnetics are holding it in place. Now, if I was to turn it around and give it a little fold for you guys to show you. Now you tell me. Is anything wrong with that? Apple been saying it's tight. It might be tight around here a little bit, but it's not causing no issues whatsoever. And all the way around the case itself, the keyboard itself, I can't see no issues whatsoever. I've had it on my iPad for the last couple of weeks now, and I've had no issues. Everything works the way it should. Now, did I get lucky? Probably I did. This was my little quick video to make sure that you also get lucky, and then you also don't end up spending over 350 pound for a new keyboard now if you're very precise and want to keep everything perfect and you play by the rules and you follow everything that apple tells you then please go ahead and purchase the new magic keyboard for the ipads but if you've got one of these lying around already because you had the previous ipad but you've upgraded to the new m1 chip if you have the keypad you can use it now on my screen i haven't put on a screen protector yet i might do i might not i might keep it clean like this but even if i do i don't see it being a problem whatsoever it's a perfect fit in my opinion but it's all down to you. I'm only trying to help you save a bit of money like I did. So there you have it, guys. This was just a very quick video to let you know. Does the fourth generation keyboard fit on the iPad Pro M1 edition? And the answer is yes, it does. Save some money. So there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. Share it with your friends and family so they can benefit from this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Till next time, stay safe, stay blessed. Peace. Thank you.